So notice here in the deployment page, there's actually two situations here that would have previously not been supported um, by older versions of the Edge Connect. The first one, let's look on the left side. So we've got our deployment page. We're looking at the land side of the deployment page. We've got WAN 2, and WAN 2 has a native VLAN. And when we say native VLAN, it means the VLAN field doesn't have a number in it. This is the untagged. We've got this 11.0 slash 24 sub subnet here. But then we've got VLAN 9 entered twice. So um, this is the feature that previously was not supported. You could not have a 9.24 and a 9.224 simultaneously on uh, in the deployment page like this. Um, now on the right side, we see a similar situation. We have VLAN 110. Now in this case, we've not added a second you know, statically configured IP address, but we have configured VLAN 110 on WAN 2 um, as Slack and DHCPv4. So that means that we now we have what amounts to an alias. Um, one of these addresses is going to be the, on the parent or the, the the actual VLAN, and then there'll be an alias that's added to the VLAN in addition. So this also was not possible in previous um, previous versions of the Edge Connect. One thing I'll point out that I always like to show people because it's maybe it's not intuitively obvious you can do this. Notice that we have WAN 2 on both the LAN side and the WAN side simultaneously. You can do that with the Edge Connect. I do it all the time, especially in labs or in a home office situation where you don't need a lot of bandwidth. Um, you can one arm the Edge Connect essentially, like take a 10 gig interface um, and then just trunk it, VLAN it, and just have that one 10 gig interface on both the LAN and WAN side servicing all the different things that you that you have in mind for it. it. It makes, especially in home office or in lab deployments, it makes configuring and dealing with things a lot easier. In the interfaces tab, in interfaces page, you will see this new interface type and it's formatted inter physical interface dot the VLAN colon the alias number. So, don't be surprised when you see this. This is the fourth interface type that we had to add in support of um, these VLANs with aliases assigned to them. Everything should just work. Um, it basically works the same way it used to. The um, You can create tunnels based on these aliases, route maps, um, ping and multicast should work. VRP does not work for the aliases. BGP and OSPF also cannot be sourced from the aliases. And what this means is that the, the firewall zone that you assign to the alias has to be the same uh, as the parent interface, as the physical interface. You cannot have a different zone assigned to the alias than you do to the physical interface. Uh, okay, IF index values for the IP alias will always be the same as they are for the physical interface. So you should, uh, your NetFlow collector, your SNMP, you're not going to see separate entries in your NetFlow collector for the IP alias. The IP alias does not need to be on the same subnet, even though I'm showing them that way here. These can this can be a completely discrete, different uh, subnet if you choose 